This meeting is being recorded. Hello, May 8th. Woo -hoo. Happy, happy, happy health habits, um, friends and family. Yes. Um, we are gathered together today uh, to talk about all kinds of things, but we're going to give Betty the floor first to celebrate her wins, share her uh, drama trauma that has um, and that happened quick, and then share her wins because she is oh. rallying, and we we yes. we want to make sure to support you. Okay, so tell us before you have to go to your appointment, what's the update on your health and well being? Okay, I'm moving around again. This is the first time at the computer. Um, okay, I was so down. What, the, you? what was the thing? What was the diagnosis? What happened? I fell. I've got staples in the back of my head. I've been trying to give them to my grandchildren children for souvenirs, but I have no takers. Anyone want a souvenir? I'm hopefully getting them out today. No, but then. <laughs> Anyway, they got in, and once they got in there, every they found all kinds of stuff. I had a, a kidney stone that is uh, 13 centimeters by 8 centimeters. So they had to go in and stabilize that. They took me to one hospital and then to another by ambulance. And, um, and then the, the next day, when I first got up, the nurse told me, she said, if I was a betting woman, I would not have bet you'd have been here this morning. I said, I'm a tough old biddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hang in there. And the, the own, they were so wonderful. So I've had, I've got infection all over. I've got infection in the blood. And then the one thing that my fourth day there, I'd gone in, you know, I've been stabilized at 171. I went in there and they said, oh, you weigh 195. And I cried. I said, how can you gain 25 pounds in oh, four no. days? And they said, they said, it's not your fault. It's water weight. Yeah. But good, good point. Today, I got on the scale. I am within 0.8 of being my weight that I went in that. So that water, I, I've gotten rid of that water weight. So that's one. Of, but, you know, these these good habits that you lay down, even though you can't follow to, to the letter, in the hospital. it is a foundation. And I, you I mean, with the sleep stuff, because I've got sleep apnea, I need oxygen now. I've got the, all right. So because my grandkids and, and neighbor kids and everyone has been helping me at night, I, I'm i on schedule. I may not be sleeping, but I start at 10 and then I, I wake someone up at about uh, one o'clock so I can get up and use the restroom and come back. And I wake them up again at five, but I'm on schedule because I don't want to be bugging them all night long, you know? And so, and so what I'm hearing is it's a lifesaver to have a routine and stick with it. In, to, you, no matter what yes. you are, where you are, hospital or not, as best you can. Yes. And my husband sent bars in. And so I could, you know, they they might feed you at five o'clock at night and then not get around till nine in the morning. Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah. I, I know it's Eminem City, right? Yeah. And and yeah. And what do they have? And plus, they have me on a restricted diet, no salt, no nothing. So it's right. like you, you couldn't even sneak in. a. Can I have a a, 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 a Cheetos, no, you know. <laughs> and good thing you had your bars. And didn't I hear Michelle brought you crunchers, or Dr. Michelle sent crunchers or something? Or? And I, no, my my husband. I asked for the crunchers, and so he sent the crunchers. Only they were the pudding, the, not the puddings, but the shakes. So I would just save a little glass of water, and then when I'd have three or four ounces, I'd stir them up. So I would have these little um, puddings. I will tell you a good diet tip. A very good diet tip before I leave, that if you have a straw and a glass of water with ice cubes in it, and you stir in one of the mixes, and you can only do by it takes you 35 minutes. What a diet plan, let me tell you. You cannot, you cannot gulp your food. You are on a, it, it just... Just a little sip of the, the straw. It's called but, mindful um, eating. Yes. So, Betty, what do they do with your kidney stone? 
Oh. It's not out yet. I have to go back. They had to stay with all Are the, you not all in the pain? infection. Are you in no, pain? No, I don't even know. The only pain I have is laying on the staples in the back of my I, head. I can't but, believe you're not in pain. Steve had a kidney stone and he was he was in so much pain. And I know, I've heard side. that. And this thing is, it's, it's, let me see where my fingers are. Oh. It's huge. Yes, it's yeah. huge. Twice the size of his. Betty, you are such an, an encouragement to everyone. Oh. Like, I mean, isn't she, you guys? Do you just want to yes. reach to her? And, uh, you do. I had prayers. I had love. I had from all over. And I'll just tell you one quick thing before I, I go. Number out. Sorry, I hope you didn't. No, no, it. no. I I was hoping so. I was hoping so because yeah. I, I I enjoyed from everybody. I tried to reply to some uh, two or three people hoping you'd pass it on. But I have to say one thing. You know, they have to ask you these two questions. And a, a health worker came in about two, three days before I left. And said, you know, the Discord, do you have enough food? Uh, da, 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 all this stuff. And then, do you ever feel like harming yourself? I said, I am in so much pain here. I don't think I want to harm myself anymore. And they said, well, do you ever, do you ever think you do something so you don't wake up in the morning? I have a thousand people praying for me. I would not dare not wake up in the morning. I said, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm not committing suicide. I have prayers. I have well wishes. I have love. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm Good. staying right here. So, Good. Good. and my, my love goes to you guys. I better get going I'm because going. my okay. friend will be here. But I love you. Thank right. you for being there and uh, have fun the rest of the day. All right. Yeah, love yeah, you too. Back to us. Thank you for coming love you back. Too, to Betty. Us. Oh yes. Thanks for love coming you. back to us. Oh, I'm uh, yes, yes, ma'am. Bye bye. Love you. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Love you. Love you. Love you. Oh, and... I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, no. <laughs> she's just a miracle. Oh, a that she's here, and b that she's like Ooh. such a role model in the midst of. All of that, right? I mean, come on. Whoa. I love her positivity and her no. smile. I'm are you guys like me? I'm just yeah. verklempt, right? Wonderful. Oh, just verklempt. She is she is amazing. And she's giving tips about how to eat the fueling. <laughs> oh, That's awesome. God, she is just the best. Oh, <laughs> she's amazing. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with all that, but <laughs> <laughs> and that just and that just tells you right that you've got you don't know what's going on in the inside. She had the emergency and then they found the stuff. So like we can't we can't just pretend that we're fine. If we feel fine, that doesn't mean we are fine, right? Like yeah. we don't feel cancer. We don't feel some of these kidney stones. We don't feel some of these bad things, aneurysms, clogged arteries. My dad didn't feel you know you don't feel that stuff. So that's why it's even more important to remember that prevention is always cheaper, easier, and better in the beginning. So stick to it. This morning, I have to say this analogy really quick because I talked to this guy who had been on and off plan, da 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 da, da you know, fall on. He's a diet mindset guy. Hey, Martha. Hi, Candace. I'm so glad you're here. Anyways, just briefly, I didn't plan on this, but we ended up talking about this at length. He was going to get his pilot license and he quit. And the thing he was loving about the, he, and the we, he was drawing an analogy. He was getting an aha moment between what he was doing with the program, which was dieting with the to food, and using the whole system. And he was comparing it to getting a pilot license. And it was brilliant because he said, you know, when you're in a, getting a pilot license, you have to do the checklist. Doesn't matter. If you know what the checklist says, you have to do the checklist before you get in the air. And 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 I said, yeah, you got to track your pro, you know, track, you know, it's a tracking element seven, and you got to have the mindset and number twenty. And he was just he was drawing the conclusion that, you know, like and this all these details in this learning is so important because it's life saving. If you're gonna kill, you're gonna kill yourself or someone else if you're flying that plane. And I said, yeah. And isn't it interesting how? People wait until they're in these emergency crises to figure out, oh, that they need it, should have done the checklist, like they should have done the prep work, they should like, right? And they should have done all this stuff. Like we have all of these things to learn what's supposed to do so we don't end up crashing the plane. So anyway, moral of the story is he drew that conclusion on his own. And I really thought it was great because it, it, it really is if we make sure that we're using all the 
pieces of the puzzle here we're gonna save our own lives in the end and, and betty is just she's just an example she's just yeah yeah she's just a role model of that so um i had some things i wanted to share with you um i'll just screen share here for a second martha yay i'm so glad you're here too deb Woohoo! happy to have you guys okay where's my screen hold on i want to share this before before we go hold on just a second um, I want to congratulate, I lost it. Where is it? Okay. I want to congratulate the prop, prop uh, the prop shot people quick. Um, Deb, uh, Sharon, uh, who else? Deb, Sharon, Tracy, and Mary. Um, uh, who else am I missing? Deb, Sharon, Deb and Sharon, you guys, thank you so much. How did that feel to do that, Deb? You got a huge fan club going on. What, how did the love well, feel to it, you? The outpouring of love and positive affirmation is overwhelming. It's very positive. I don't like having my picture taken. So that part of it was very uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, and then to see my sweater was all bunched up over one breast, you know, just, oh, well. Um, That's not the point. Nobody mentioned that. Nobody <laughs> saw it but you, right? But the, the people that came out of the woodwork to say bravo, right? Yes, round of that was nice. Yeah, that was that's, nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. And, and then you really know, like, you can make the changes that you want to make because people really do love you. They want you around. They want you at your yeah. best. Bravo. I know it's tough, oh, it's tough to be so vulnerable. And, and yet it's part of our identity crisis, <laughs> our identity shift. It, 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 right. It, Right. And I mentioned also in it that um, things that happened in the family used to really send me into a depression. And I was so surprised because that has happened recently. Didn't involve me other than as being a support system. But I was able to just be independent, provide support to various individuals and not take it on myself that's a huge shift for me that's bigger than the weight loss she lost a thousand pounds of codependency last yeah. month i'm not everybody round of applause for her i mean without details she detached and she remained detached from yeah. a situation that would have taken her down mentally and emotionally down the yeah. rabbit hole in the like yeah. right so you stopped, you challenged, you chewed, you, you you kept your boundaries. I was so proud of you. That's, yeah, that's a me too. That's way more than the weight, right? That's Didn't even realize it was happening until it, you know, it was kind of over. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and all because you love yourself enough to show up and live a healthy yep. life and do the work in here. Do the yep. work in here, right? So and keep your eye right. Keep your eye on why you're really here. Keep your eye on your why at all times. Remember your word for the year, everybody. Remember your word for the year and stay in control mentally and emotionally. Make sure when you're out of sync with yourself, you take a minute, go to the restroom and rescue yourself. Okay. Go sit on the toilet and go, it's okay, baby. We're going to be okay. And breathe, right? And do your hugging. <laughs> Shut the door and just talk to yourself, pray and get yourself calm. Get yourself back in sync. Um, I can't tell you how many times I rescued, re restroom rescued myself, right? So just make sure you keep your nervous system intact and keep your amygdala calm. You're on the right bus. You're on the right track. You're doing the right thing no matter what, right? Remember, you're in a class to become an optimal health practitioner. Do all of your parts of your coursework and you'll pass and you'll get a flying color. At the end of the day, we're earning what? An optimal health practitioner's degree. <laughs> or or a pilot or a pilot's license, right? Or a doctorate or an MBA. We're in the process, in the progress, and not perfection. And then um, I just want to point this out quickly because um, because and then I'll stop screen share so I can see you all. And I, I want to celebrate. Um, talk about some other things today. Um, Amy, can I, yep. can I just share? Um, what encourage my posting? I'm like. Okay, do I want to do this? You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your prop shot. Yes. 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 Please so, share. Anyway, we um, so I we had a lot of activities on the weekend. Like I just kept putting it off and putting it off, and we were at a birthday party on Saturday, <clears throat> five year old birthday party, and not the birthday party boy, but the other grandson 
sat and ate two cupcakes <laughs> in a row. And his mother just watched him, you know, and I was like, la, 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 you know, and he's five. He's five. This is the other five, the one that turned five in November. So I, I mean, I didn't say anything, you know, I mean, the, like I said, the mother observed and later the, the thing that the cupcakes were on, it was in the shape of a um, Nerf, Nerf gun cupcakes, Nerf gun formed in or a Nerf gun was made of cupcakes was the cake. And he came back later and the cupcakes were all gone, but there was frosting all over <laughs> the cardboard yet. So he started to scoop up some of the frostings. I'm like, okay, I have to intervene here. So I asked my daughter-in-law, who, who I said, are you done with this cart? You know, does anybody, do you have to return this or anything? I said, is it okay if I pick this up? And she said, you certainly may. And I folded it up and put it in the trash. But I'm like, okay, I need to keep posting. I didn't post anything about that scenario, but I put, you know, so I got to show my little table of bars that I've like, I could care less about anymore. But I'm like, okay, keep sharing about the sugar because it's it's out there. Did you, go, did you guys see her post with the bar, the, the table of desserts? It, go go yeah. to her page and see. It, it was brilliant, Sharon, about how you detach from that, you know, walking away, just be like, yeah, that, no, that doesn't serve me anymore. And it doesn't help me get toward, you know, to my goals and live the life of my dreams. And I'm, I, it's not, yeah, it's not even a thing anymore. And she would have sat there and ate a whole plate like me, right? You would have just, <laughs> right? I would have tried them all. Me oh, too. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. No question. But that, that was my incentive to, yeah, I got to post this. So. Yeah, I am so proud of you. Bravo, mm -hmm. round of applause. It, you guys, it's really hard. As much as Sharon, she wears her heart on her sleeve and she die, she's dying to help people. She brought another high school or a friend to, to, we talked to today. She's dying to help people, but it's still hard for her to share with others. But look at how many people have gone, what are you doing, right, Sharon? I mean, they just yeah. don't even know it's possible to walk by the table of bars and not devour two whole cupcakes, right? They don't even know. Uh, that so, is we're on a mission. Yeah, we're on <laughs> a mission. We are when, on a mission. And I'm when so somebody asks, awesome. When somebody asks how come they overreact or they're, you know, kind of out of control. Well, you just ate two cupcakes. <laughs> right. Yeah. I I had an old client, guys, who never, who didn't, she dieted and didn't do, get, she didn't stick with the community, didn't stick with her mindset changes. I saw her change her profile picture the other day and she and her granddaughter were on there. And I'm telling you what, I guarantee you the granddaughter is she's obese and she has diabetes as a child. I guarantee it. And I cried when I saw it because I've tried to reach out to her on multiple occasions, right? It is so important guys. We've got to keep going. These kids are dying for help. They're, they're dying. We're killing them off. Right. We've got to make sure that they learn a healthy lifestyle from who? Healthy mom, healthy family. Right. It always starts with the mom, unfortunately. <laughs> Very rarely starts with the dad. <laughs> so please know it's a lot of weight on your shoulders, but it's even more important because, right, this is Healthy Women's Month. It's Mental Health Month. It's Mom's Month. Right. It It's 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 all the it's nurses and teachers week this week. Um, so really be mindful of your influence and impact, no matter how vulnerable, how scared, how yucky it feels, you know, own your identity, be the truth, be the light, because people can't, they, they, they cannot lead themselves out of a wet paper bag right now. So you've got to be on this mission with us. <laughs> Sharon says we're on a mission. Um, so thank you for doing that, Sharon Bravo. I know it's still hard for you too. So it's easy for me, but don't worry. You don't have to be me. I don't care about anyone, anyone, anyone thinks, but it's okay. I'm not, you don't have to be me. <laughs> Most people are not me, but that's another story. Anyway, I think that it's really important just to know that whatever I, I one person said, um, what, who's hurting because I'm hiding? Who is hurting because I'm hiding? I think that's a writer. That's a jotter downer. Who's hurting because I'm hiding. 
because and and you know if you're if you're hiding you're you're not sharing your light with people we were supposed to have our light outside of that basket so keep letting your light shine right so other people can see your joy and i want to congratulate mary and um Mary, her Tracy Lewis and her mother Mary, who are not on right now, but they're holding hands and they're doing this together. They are they rocked it with their ice, or their or their posts to an optimal life. Cliff with his high school jeans, round of applause if you're listening to the recording. Oh my word, that is awesome! If you didn't see that again, it's optimal life. I'll go. I'm gonna actually share it to my page too, um, and then. Um, so congratulations to him as well. Is there anyone else I'm missing? Um, if you still want to do it, I know Martha's still going to. Um, there's several people that didn't get it done. So please just still do it because it, it's just fun and easy to do. And you don't have to, you don't have to be out there in a bathing suit and put a before and after up. So <laughs> I, know I, I mean. just posted as you were talking because I, I forgot. Well, and it's it's different. I'm not holding bags of sugar or anything, but I I put me in my kayak because my kayak weighs almost fifty pounds. Wow. And in, initially, I had lost eighty, and I've shared with you I'm struggling. I've gained forty back, but it's still I'm still proud that I'm not carrying around that extra weight of the kayak because that's fucking yes. heavy. Yeah, it's it's part of your process and your progress to you know what not perfection. It's process. It's okay. It's totally okay. Um, thank you so much. Bravo, Sandy. Bravo. That is awesome. Someone's it was painful to to do it because I am in a I'm a, I'm in a tough spot with this extra weight I've gained and my clothes aren't fitting and there's a lot happening in my life and I'm just I'm plugging along. I I am going out to lunch with friends and I said we can't go till 1 30 because I am not missing my support group. I am committed <laughs> to every Wednesday and I am not skipping it. So think about the 50 pounds that you did keep off, okay? Everybody? Well, or it's yeah. actually 40, but it's close. 40. So think about that. Think about how much it weighs to carry whatever it was, the ice bags, right? Like, so with Mary and Mary and, her, and Tracy and her mom, I was like, think about how much that weighs, guys. Put that in your brain. Put it at the bottom of your stairs. Carry it up and down the stairs. Remember, that weight was you, and that's why you're so tired. That was why you couldn't do anything. And Sandy, just remember, that weight is gone. And you, you know what? That's a lot. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Every time I try to carry the boat to the lake. Yeah. It's heavy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So just remember that weight and, and the mental weight is a thousand times whatever pounds came off your body. That meant the mental weight is the, the mental baggage is always a hundred times more. So you just, and, and I keep a list of all your positives, even if you've backslid, even if you're in the process of beating yourself up, always make a list of the positive aspects of what you've done so far. Let's today, I want you guys to be thinking, cause we're, we're going to go through and we're going to say, okay, what are the three things that you're going to thank yourself for today? Give me top three. What are we thanking me for today? What am I thanking me for today? I want to do that. I think that's super, super duper important to do. So let's do that today as a group. I had another activity to do, but I'm not sure if we'll get to, to it, but thank you. But thank you, Sandy, for sharing. And I know you're going through a really tough time mentally, which is me more important to what stick with your basic habits, right? Stick with what you got and don't let it go. Right. Is that what you're doing? I am. Okay. You got this girl. You got it. You're doing it. And you're already keeping boundaries with mom. So round of applause, all that you're doing great. In the wake of this end of her life, you're doing a fantastic job. So bravo. Really good. Thanks. And I'm glad you posted. We'll, we'll see. That's going to help too. So, oh, the other thing I want you to be thinking of top three things you're going to thank yourself for. And then one negative influence you're going to let go. Okay. So mindset may is really great. If you haven't been plugging in, look every day at mindset may, cause I think it's really fun and all the tips are great and all the, you know, focus is really great. I just want to point this out to you before we go. And then we're going to talk about each of you. Um, this, I, I have come to a new realization that the habits of disease, your life looks like a mess. Once you integrate, right, all of these habits and get better at them, that your life expands, your circle expands, it gets more round, it gets easier, right? Remember this circle? Everything gets easier. It rolls better. Um, your life, you know, your circle gets big, bigger and it be, you become whole. You start to become whole. So remember, equanimity means that state of eternal harmony and equanimity and internal harmony or integrity means wholeness. 
So as you're going through the, this process, you are in, I am in, I'm, I'm having the realization, I'm in the process of becoming whole. And the more whole and the more round and the more integrity I have with myself, the more hope I can bring to others. This hope for wholeness thing that I have for 2024, hope for wholeness 2024, um, creating all things new, right? Uh, I'm being created newly. Like this, it, we are in the process of becoming more whole. This color thing I posted about yesterday, is I'm realizing how much it's impacting my ability to feel whole. And which is why I'm bringing it to you guys, because I can't believe the ability of color to have helped me to feel whole and have the insides of me match the outsides of me and vice versa. Like it is so incredible. I would never have I I would never have imagined the impact of the the wholeness or the integrity it, it brings knowing feeling like at home in my skin um, that the color had. So regardless of, you know, age, stage, size, no matter what, that there's something about that color and that energy that helps you to come home to you and be fully you. It's incredible. So I, if you haven't taken that stupid little quiz, just take it because it's really easy and it's free and there's some fun tutorials. But I'm telling you when when I I don't know if you saw my post, but I did a live um, and on the my shopping experience, my packing experience, my, you know, just experience in my closet with Kate. But these colors make me, they are some of the most god awful, ugly things I've ever seen in my life. I would never have thought I'd put these colors on my body. <laughs> and I put them on and I laugh at myself because it is so, I feel so great in them. I'm not kidding you. So even if you have a favorite color, you can't live without. I'm not saying do without it. I'm just saying, be open to what's next, what's more, because I can't even believe, I mean, wearing these pink things, this gal, Terry, she's a type three. She was the bomb in this. My husband, the bomb. I don't, I think he's a four. This is not quite his color, but, um, but nonetheless, it's just, it makes you glow. It makes you feel more whole. And I think it really contributes to your, it, it, your, how you feel on the outside contributes to your actions and your feelings on the inside and your, your self-esteem and all of that. So g give it, a, give it a shot. Um, you got nothing to lose and you don't have to do anything different, but I think it's really, for me, it's been a game changer, an unexpected game changer. So um, I just want to encourage you to do that. So let's celebrate some wins. I want you to thank yourselves for three things. If we have fallen below the line, we're going to get you back up and we're going to learn from it. What's happening, what's missing, what's next. Um, and then um, next week, I want to take the quiz that I did in the Explorer in the 90 day challenge group. Margo and I are doing that. Roxy's doing it. Um, the 90 day challenge um, with David has been pretty amazing. Um, in terms of helping us to get to our next level. So we'll, um, maybe we'll do that next week. But um, so Deb, I don't know how long you have. And, and, and Martha, if you can stay, Roxy, I'm glad you made it. Um, let's, let's, let's let uh, Deb and Martha, they're working together. Maybe we'll, let's talk to you guys in case you have to skedaddle. Um, Deb, you have had, tell me your wins of, of the week and or two weeks, I think, has it been one week? And any, any time you fell below the line, any struggles, but I want you to start off by thanking yourself for a couple, what, what are you going to thank yourself? Okay. Well, today um, I thank myself because I went and got myself a haircut and then <laughs> I, I'm uh, also going through um, quite a bit at home, but I keep saying to myself, I'm in control, you know, because nobody else can control my, my, me and a lot of things I cannot control outside. So I kind of trying to push them off to those people, you know? Um, and then um, I guess attending the meeting. <laughs> Bravo. I thank me for attending the meeting today. I thank <laughs> me for what was it saying? I'm in control. Yes. And I thank me for what was the last, what was the other one? Um, oh, I got a haircut. Oh, you got your haircut. Fantastic. Yeah. Bravo. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love mm -hmm. it. Is there a negative influence that you're going to kind of unplug from? Uh, yes. Um, I'm going to continue on doing what I can control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. And unplugging from those people that are causing stress or chaos. 
Yes. Remember to download this to your phone. I sent this out today. Click on it and download it to your phone. You guys, you, you see what it, you remember what this says? Okay. This is, I want to, I get to, I choose to. I will command and I will obey my own command. I will act now. That's from the enemy, the enemy, Dave Blanchard, the enemy within video. Remember that? Somebody made that and they have a, have it standing on their desk. I, I absolutely love that. So give, download that for yourself today. That, isn't that wonderful? Bravo, Deb. Bravo. Any fall below the line that you had some trouble with? You need to, any struggles below kind of? Stinking thinking or things you wish you'd done differently last week? Oh, I'm sure there are. You kind of want to just shove them in the past and leave them there. <laughs> yeah. I want to thank, I want to thank Deb for being open. We had a quite a long vacation when I got unplugged from my vacation in Florida. She, she was very vulnerable and shared some things she didn't quite want to share. And you know what? We came up with some good solutions, didn't we? Some, and, 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 and uh, that, you know, I, I just encourage everyone to get the language of letting, don't, don't encourage everyone, all of us women to get these two books along with your life book, Language of Letting Go and Codependent No More with your life book change you know it'll, it'll change your life they're just amazing so congratulations deb for kind of doing the doing the hard work in between the ears thank yeah. you i'm so proud of you how about you martha how are you good to see you yes thanks for having me um let's see i want to thank myself for um not, I, I had a family member just suddenly show up at my house uh, as they were passing through the state of Iowa. And um, I kept focus on what I need to do for myself. And I said, hey, you know, I'm cooking breakfast. This is what I'm making. Would you like to have it too? Um, <laughs> I, did, I didn't ask permission. I didn't go off track and say, why don't we go out to breakfast or dinner or lunch? Um, and so any other time I probably would have been like, oh, where should we go to dinner? Or, you know, and I just said for me, just because they randomly showed up in my life doesn't mean I have to get off track. Yes. Yeah. So that happened. Uh, and so I want to thank myself for doing that. Um, I think another thing I'm trying to think, this is kind of stinking thinking and almost thinking myself I'm like right I'm one leg in one side and one leg on the other because um this week uh I was down just 0 0.1 and I was like that's ridiculous I that's worked hard. really hard and that 0 0.1 that's like I blew on my arm and it fell off and so I was like half of me was like why did I work so hard for that? And the other half of me is like, doesn't matter. You're moving forward. So stop crying. And so like sticking to it and making sure that I had my mindset right, because that all plays into it, right? Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's at that fork in the road where we have to decide how are we, yeah, who are we going to listen to? Mm -hmm. um, and so- I, I'm going to thank myself for continuing to attack this week, just like any other normal week. Yep. And and kind of like what Deb said, putting last week in the rear view mirror and well, that's how that week went. We'll move on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, yeah, I, good job. You you just, you, but you, here's the win is I, was there another win? Was there another thank yourself for one? Was there one more thing? Um, I guess I want to thank myself for now being able to wear all my old clothes again. Yeah. So like, I, I'm that person who, when I buy something I like, I keep it. You don't have to go like, shopping. Right. Even if it's not my size anymore, I'm like, no, I love this sweater. I love that shirt. So I kept all my clothes. And now as the other clothes looks ridiculous on me and falls off, I'm looking in my own closet and I'm like, oh my God, I totally have these pants and I love these pants. So I'm shopping in my own closet. Oh, what a treat, right? Yeah. Oh, 
That's a huge win. I don't care about the point zero one. You got to shop in your own closet. Now that's a win. Yeah. That is a win. And don't forget that, you know what? Take measurements because sometimes your you're changing measure, measurements are changing, even if the scale's not showing, right? So your, your clothes are fitting differently, right? Remember that. And we can't change things. Um, uh, we can't change how, how the body loses weight, but we can only change you know, our perspective. So congratulations for noticing this was going on, right? And and for shopping in your closet. That's great. The awareness of this conversation is mm -hmm. everything. We win and lose the game in this conversation between our ears. We got to stop, challenge, get regulated, choose, calm ourselves down. Don't listen to this one. Listen to this one, right? Good job. Thank Excellent. Any, any negative influences you're letting go of for mindset may? Um, I think the only negative influence I'm letting go of is every single time someone's like, if I'm visiting with somebody, oh, do you want to drink? Uh, just saying no. So I'm letting go of the influence to have to have an alcoholic drink when really I, I didn't want one. I didn't think of one. So why do I, why do I drink it just because someone's asking me to? Yes. Oh my so I'm letting that go. That is fabulous. That that makes me want to cry. Because seriously, it's one of the hardest things for this culture to do is just say no because of peer pressure or obligation or whatever. Yeah. It could be alcohol. It could be a piece of cake or a cupcake. Right, Sharon? <laughs> That is fantastic. I love it. If you have trouble letting go of alcohol, read The Naked Truth because it's about the country's trouble with alcohol and um, and it's really good. It's a good book. I don't know if anyone's read it here, but it's a good one. Um, just to, the perspective of alcohol. So thank you for sharing. All right. Let's see. Who's next? Uh, Deb, Sandy, uh, Margo, tell me your three and then we're going to go back, circle back to Deb and Sandy for their three. Thank yous. And their negative influences. Candace, you can if you're okay. If you speak, you certainly can. And Elaine, if you want to talk, you can. You don't have to get on camera. Okay. okay um. All right. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um. I'm thankful that I have committed to my health, so that I can count on committing to helping others. I'm thankful for the people that I have attracted into my life. And most of all, I am thankful that I care enough for my daughter to take care of myself. I need a moment. <laughs> <laughs> you missed Betty, I think, earlier. Did you hear Betty when she was? I think you missed Betty. But oh, anyway. I'm sorry. Yeah, you'll listen to the recording. You have to listen to Betty. But thank you, Margo. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. What do you, what negative influence are you going to unplug yourself from? Uh, procrastination. Hmm. Hmm. Good. That's your own negative influence. <laughs> That's yeah. this conversation, right? Yeah. Procrastination and and boredom are avoidance. Um, they're stress responses to avoidance, guys. So what is the conversation happening? All right. That's what you want to do. Margo, thank you so much for sharing. That was, that was anything else? Any, any skin knees, any below the line stuff you wanted to share? Um, just, I think the other thing is for a win for me for this week, I had the pleasure of uh, finally verbalizing my dream to David Bush in our 90 day uh, journey. And what I love about this, for anybody that had any doubts about doing the journey, I went into it thinking, okay, this is going to be Optivia, Optivia, Optivia. It's nothing about Optivia. Negative it's attitude. Everything is everything about you. It's every, and, and it's amazing how all the elements that he talks about and all the information he brings fits all the different personalities and there's tons of people doing this program and they're all different 
And yeah, and but it really is about your extraordinary life. And naturally, yes, habits of health are a part of that, but it's not about being a coach or selling up or doing this or doing that, up to be a what no, it's all about from it's my perspective. Getting, getting to the top of your mountain. Yeah. Of, whatever. Yeah. Right? It's it's Margot's growth. Margo's mountain. And it's all about Margo. And there might be a thousand people in this program. To me, there's one, and that's me. Yeah. And David Bush is the champion of making you feel that. And he nailed your dream to the wall. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. You had him at hello, and he had the best, 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 best advice. I was enamored. I was like crying. I was so happy. So. <laughs> Good and job. So was he. Which good was job great. Playing, good job for playing full out, right? Bravo. Yeah. Candace or iPhone, if you guys want to share, please speak up anytime. Sandy, do you have your top three? I want to thank me. Yeah, I have I have um I, yeah, I have a story. So first of all, one of the top three is getting to this group, making it a priority. A second one is doing nine of the 12 days of chair yoga. I skipped a few, but I made a commitment I'm gonna keep going. Um this one's kind of silly, but uh, skipping the happy hour at Arby's three of seven days. I didn't skip it, four, but three of seven is better than none. Yes, it is. Yes. Now I have a story to share about yesterday. Yesterday, I was a little discombobulated and none of these things got in my calendar except mom had music, ther music therapy at 1.30 that I was going to go to. I had an RHS reunion meeting that I had scheduled for 1 30 because I forgot about the other commitment then we got we're going to get our barium tickets because I was having a bad day and Steve says you need to go walk in the meantime my nephew texted me and said are we still on for lunch today for my birthday forgot to put it on the calendar we had decided to take my nephew out for his 40th birthday oh. and I completely forgot oh. so I just I got rid of everything else. This was at 1230. He texted. I canceled the church meet or the uh, reunion meeting. I decided I don't need to be at mom with music therapy. There's a music therapist singing and being with her at this time. I don't need to be there. And I told Steve, I'm sorry, I can't go to the arb. We have to take our nephew to lunch. And he goes, oops. So I, what I learned from it is the reason I was scheduling the reunion meeting was because I was in a funk. I was mad because I had called the meeting and people said, we need more notice, Mandy. Well, anytime I call a meeting, not everybody's going to come. But one particular person was mad because they wanted to be there and they couldn't make it work. So then a couple other people were texting. Well, maybe we should wait. Maybe we should wait. I just got so disgusted with all the emails and texts about nah, nah, nah. So then I canceled it. And that was a good thing because like I said, Two minutes later, the text comes. Are you still taking me out to lunch today? That's but also to let go of the fact that I felt I had to be with mom for her music therapy because she doesn't initiate anything. And I felt bad for the music therapist. That's her problem. She can make my mom come up with something that she wants to hear or she can just play for her. I don't need to be there monitoring every aspect of mom's life. Great. So that was big for me. And just the fact that Steve thought that I needed to go for a walk because I was having a rough day and he knows what I need, get in, the, get in the boat or get to the arb and get out there and shake it off. You so let go. It was a win-win day. Yeah, you let, go, you let go of some things that were not yours. You set some boundaries. You had some great support at home and you made it a priority to do what was right for you in every, yeah. So that that is great. I that chose great. me. So my, my thing that I'm going to work on is uh, <laughs> skipping more Arby's happy hours. It's so convenient because it's on the way home from the nursing home. It's right on the road. And there it is. And it's cheap. And it's yummy. And I, I had to laugh earlier when Sharon was talking about the cupcakes. I have done that. At church, I have, I have grabbed the cupcake and gone back and licked the edge. Or I cut the cake for some event. And I take the corner piece with the most frosting and then I go back and get the extra frosting. I've been there and I'm still in that 
mindset, sadly, because I still have the sugar addiction going on. Mm -hmm. So that just made me laugh like, oh, you've got to, you've got to clean up your act, girl. You've just got to walk away from those cupcakes. Because once you take a bite of it, you want to go back and keep getting all the extra sugar. All the you're, extra you're, you're an addict. Stop. Yeah, you're an addict. Can't stop. Yeah, you're an addict, right? It's just, I yeah. am Sandy, I am a sugar addict, right? You've got to just admit powerlessness. Yeah. And, yeah. And go it's it. just, but it just, it just made me chuckle like, oh, she's describing me to it. And yeah. then the biggest revelation was I'm looking at my posts, you know, from recently and the same chubby cheeks are back. I mean, I don't have the felt look. Well, Deb's wondering, compared to what I looked like 40 pounds ago, the felt look is gone. And it's, um, that's what's disturbing me because this is not the person I recognize now. You know, at first I didn't recognize the felt person. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not recognizing this. And so mm -hmm. that's hurting my heart, mm -hmm. maybe inspiring me to work harder or get back on track, whatever. It's just, it's an observation that I'm sharing with you. Remember, this is a good observation because you just said it. You you hit the nail on the head. You didn't recognize that person. Do you guys realize when you don't recognize the person in the mirror and you don't feel comfortable with that person, you will go back to being the person you are more comfortable with? Subconsciously, that will shoot you in the foot, which is why you have to really come to Jesus, so to speak, with your identity. Mm -hmm. and own your new what is your purpose in life who are you really to be not sandy's not here on this planet to be do and make everyone else happy right sandy is here for a reason but sandy you know what i'm saying like we really have to do the identity work which is why element one through 26 is the life book and guess what the next book is dr anderson's book what's it called anyone anyone it's called identity. Yeah. Well, the, the other piece of it is I, I, I'm I back in wearing looser clothes because I'm not comfortable with how they hang in my body. When I when I lost the weight, my sister-in-law was trying to give me some clothes that fit. And I said, well, I don't like the loose ones. I want them to be fit to my body because yeah, that's yeah, who I am yeah, now. Yeah. So I did get to the point where that was who I was, which is why this is starting yeah, to trouble yeah. me. But when you're talking okay. about color, it's more than color for it me. It is more than color. For Absolutely. me, it's it's uh, wearing my tugboats because I'm going to watch tugboats yes. at the lake later. Or wearing, it's way more than color. It's I, I have um, theme theme jewelry and theme stuff. Yeah. And even though the colors don't matter, I mean, that's who I am. I, my friends call me the queen of theme. I love to celebrate everything, every holiday, yeah. every place yes. I go. I have earrings for every event. Yeah. And and that's who I am and who I've, who I've come to love and I embrace it. Yes. And I... I so, so that keeps me going. And yeah. I have a lot of wild colors. I've always had a wild, wild colors. Today I, I wanted the message. Today I, I wanted the be kind message. It's pale pink. It's not really my color, but it says what I want it to say. Yeah, you're definitely a type three. I, I don't even have to, you don't even take the quiz, but I'm, there's no question. I, you know what, you're in process with your identity and it's good. Okay. So just stay in process. And in, in the interest of time, I'm going to go to Deb. What are your top three things? And Candace, if you want to share your, you can if you want to okay i'm going to tell you that they're cleaning our air vents our uh, dryer vents from the outside it's really noisy so if i just go to mute it's because they've started up again okay here we go i am really uh, thankful that i have amy michelle as a coach oh. um, and i'm really thankful that she helped me to plan out how I'm going to get by on our family camping adventure this coming weekend. Mm. And this morning I made a lot of shakes and froze them so I can just put them in my cooler, pull them out, drink them, eat them, whatever. Um, but she gave me a lot of other great ideas. I am thankful that um, I am feeling better because I have reduced the number of hot flashes I have. I don't need antacids anymore. I am not having very many night leg and feet cramps anymore. There's other things, but I'll limit um, for time, just the things that have improved. I feel like I'm looking better. I have recently ordered some dresses that have waists. I haven't worn waists for a very long time. 
Yes, it, that's big. I've gotten rid of all my baggy dresses, so I can't possibly put them back on. Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, and the thing I'm going to let go is looking at the increased wrinkles and bags and cellulite because of the weight I've lost. That has kind of bothered me, but I'm letting it go. Mm -hmm. I'm healthier, even though I'm baggy in yeah. my own skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Oh, I love it. Letting go of this negative influence about that, right? Yep. That's fantastic. Bravo! Yep. Bravo! Yep. Oh, that's awesome. I remember waists and belts. I was like, belts? Wearing a belt? Are you kidding me? Oh. I, can't, I can't wear a belt. I'm not wearing yeah. it. I hated belts, right? <laughs> yep. It's so funny when you get your waist back. It's hilarious like hey where were you all this time i i'm so sorry i need to go but thank yeah, okay. you today's session was wonderful yeah. yay wow. awesome Andy. you have a great day and, okay. and candace do you want to share a quick i've got a few thank you thank you you want to share it all you certainly can if not if, no big deal i'll thank myself so i want to thank myself <laughs> for losing weight on the cruise and in my two-week vacation <laughs> Danged if I am not shocked. Honestly, I totally thank myself. I'm, I really, <laughs> I am so tickled because, you know, this winter, uh, you guys are all doing the steps. I hate counting steps. I don't count steps. I am not a step counter. And I was sort of sedentary and I kind of got up to a few pounds uh, closer to my, I always keep a tight window, but I was, I was close to the top of my window. So I, I want to thank myself for taking the stairs on the cruise ship and never taking the elevator. So that was, I attribute to, and for sticking to, like Betty, sticking to my every two to three hours eating, even if I was at the cruise buffet, I was not off my schedule. So I think I want to thank myself for that. And that has directly led to my getting me back in the middle of my, my uh, comfort zone in terms of my, my weight window. Um, I want to thank myself for being humble enough to admit powerlessness over sugar and behavior and thoughts because humility and not has been a thing. It's not controlling everything and doing it all myself. I want to thank myself for um, really dedicating myself to what I know my true purpose is in the 90 day challenge, um, working through my real calling, so to speak, in life and, and, and really keeping that a priority. And then I also want to thank myself for living my five priorities in their order every day. I have stuck with that for three years and it's working for me. So I want to thank myself for keeping my priorities in order on a daily basis, one day at a time. Uh, and uh, for lastly, um, helping doing taking doing the work on the outside to help my outsides and insides match so i thank me for those things um because that's been a lot of work too but it's been worth it and i'm going to stay away from negative influences i got into the habit being on vacation of getting out of my my digital detox on a daily basis so my negative influence is the phone and the computer on after 6 or 6 30 is negative for me so i have I'm back on that. And um, I also fell off my tracking, um, my little tracking system that is going away as well, because that really helps me stay focused. So those negative things are going away. Anyway, that's me. Um, so thank you for hearing mine too. Um, Candace, did you want to share or type? I don't know if anyone chatted anything. Nope. Okay. Thank yourself. Oh, what'd you put in there, Martha? I just thought if maybe somebody wanted to download that, I just created that while you guys were all talking. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I love it. If you want to go online and watch a funny Snoop, Snoop thanking, I thank me, Snoop Dogg. It's, he's a really ridiculous person, but it's kind of a funny little video. Um, <laughs> uh, and next week, I think we're going to do the quiz from the 90 day challenge. So we'll, we'll, I'll bring that to the table. So. Thank you, Martha, for contributing and everybody for being here. Um, anyone, any final thoughts or takeaways, things that you love from today? Any any takeaways that anyone has, has to share? Nope. Okay. Thank you so much for being here, everybody showing up, because if we don't show up, then, then, you know, what Sharon says, there's no community. 
So we are, we are doing this thing and we're not dieting in the dark. That's dangerous and it's depressing and it doesn't work. So hang in there. Yes. Go ahead, Margo. Oh, just real quickly while you were gone and we kind of changed up the agenda at the end of all the meetings, I was doing an inspiration piece. Oh yeah. Please and, do. Please do. Yeah, and I just found this and realized it was one I hadn't said very quick and easy. Help is best expressed by the ability to participate in life. Yay. That is awesome. That is awesome. And best, be, be, I'm glad you said that because I do want to go back to your agenda. I love when you were gone, the meetings, how they flow. I liked if, you know, and we'll go back to this. I'm hoping Sandy can share the energy bus. Margo, keep doing your ending thing. Carrie is gone this week. So I just sort of took over the show, but I, I really like the agenda and how it works. So I think we could stick with that because I don't need to be leader of the pack, but um, Carrie, Carrie wasn't able to be here either. So, and then we had Betty at the beginning, so it's all a mess, but I would really like to keep that schedule. You, you guys did a brilliant job with the, with the group. So I, I if we, if you're willing, let's keep the, let's keep that going. Sharon, I know you're going to ask you to step up because you did a good job leading. <laughs> I love you guys. Love you. Have a great Bye -bye. week. Bye. -bye. Have a good week. Bye.